Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem. These are the poles for a tent and you can see that one of the poles has snapped there in the middle and unfortunately I have another break over here right where it's supposed to feed into the sleeve here that's also broken. So I'm going to show you how to solve these problems. Now you can use a kit to do this but in this video I'm going to show you the solution without having to dismantle the tensioner in the middle so i don't have to thread anything all i'm going to do is i'm going to use a polycop pipe and i'm going to repair it with this pipe now what you first want to check is how thick the sleeve of your tent is so here you can see i've got the sleeve and for the most part you can see that uh, there's a lot of room here so even if you fatten up the pole a bit it's not going to be a problem on your tent this is the technique that I use. So what I do is I take a polycop pipe and I'll cut it about 10 centimeters in length. So something like that. Now this is a rigid plastic pipe, so it doesn't bend very easily. And the next step is to actually cut some of the pipe off. And how you do that is you can just use an angle grinder and cut some of that off. So you might be thinking, but who carries an angle grinder when they go camping? No, the point of this repair is that you have these on standby. So these are your, this is your repair kit that you take with when you go camping. So you just make two or three of these and then you have them on standby and I'm going to show you how easy it is to repair your tent once you've got these on standby. Right, for your reference, this is a 15 millimeter pipe and the tent pole is 8.3 millimeters. So you can see that the polycop pipe is much thicker and that is why you cut this section out. So all I need to do is cut out a bit of this polycop pipe so that when I squeeze it together, I get about eight and a half millimeters. So that will work. The beauty of this approach is that it just goes right over it, just like that. Now, what I first recommend you do is just put some tape here just to hold it in place. Now, the tape that I recommend is duct tape. And the reason for the tape is you don't want this to extend laterally. So that tape holds it together. Although this will also hold it together, I just prefer to put the tape first. You could put a second layer if you want to. As I said, you just need about 10 centimeters. You can make it a bit longer if you want. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it there and then I'm going to cut a section out. Now here you can see I've got two samples. It doesn't make a big difference if you cut a little bit or a lot, it'll still work. So there's a lot of room for error here. So if you're gonna add a lot of tape, then you want it only cut a little bit. If you've added no tape, then you want it to look more like this. So it doesn't really matter, they're both gonna work. So I'm just going to use this one for now because I've put tape here and very easy. I just slide this on over there, slide it over the broken section. And all I need to do now is tape this closed. Now over here, it's quite difficult to use duct tape when it comes to this. I recommend using insulation tape to close this part off over here. I like to use quite an elastic insulation tape. You can see this one has got a lot of elasticity. This one is called Nitto. And what I do is I'm just going to start in the middle and you can see that I'm pulling it almost to the maximum that the tape can handle. And now I'm just really maximizing the stretch and you can see how much easier it is to work with insulation tape rather than duct tape and I'm just squeezing these mouths together right and now I'm going back the same way And I recommend you go beyond this point so when you feed it through the sleeve of the tent, it doesn't catch here because it's a bit higher. I'm going to tape a 7 amp hour battery here and just see if it can lift it up. Right, so there is a 7 amp hour battery and just want to lift it up. There we go. It is deforming slightly, but you can see that I can still pick up this battery. 
and I'm going to hold it here for a little while to see how much it deforms. And my initial test showed me it and only moves about 15 degrees after about 10 minutes. But thereafter, it didn't move anymore. Now, obviously, you can put more tape on this to make it firmer. But if you're still not happy and you want it to be even stronger, then you can go to plan B. Right over here, I have some copper tube. This is your normal hot water pipe. There you can see 15 millimeter. And you can cut this to size, either using your grinder or you can use a plumbing tool. Right, now while this is very useful in cutting the copper pipe, it does tend to make it a little bit restricted there. So I prefer to cut it with an angle grinder so that it has an open mouth. And I'll show you what I mean by that when I do the insulation. I'm just going to grind this a little bit away so that it's not sharp on the inside. Right, so all I did is I just made it open here. You see, when it's like this, it gets a little bit pinched towards the inside, and that's going to be a problem for this next insulation. So what you want to do now is I want to slide this over the pole. So I'll just feed this in so long. Right, now over here, this is the problem area. And there isn't much you can do here because, as you can see, the piece that is broken is now inside there. If you try and put something over here, it won't fit into this sleeve over here so this is where this becomes useful right so i put this here and then now when it's time to go camping all i need to do is bring that cut pipe see this cut pipe fits perfectly over this so i just fit that over it best to pull it back a bit i slide this copper pipe over this polycop pipe and if you want to you can make it a bit wet it makes it easier to slide it in uh, just make sure that that's not sharp. You do not want to cut yourself when doing this. Alright, so that's enough. Now, all I need to do is slide this over it. And just to hold it in place so it doesn't slide off, you can just put your tape there. And also to stop it catching on your tent, if you are feeding it through any sleeves. Right, so there you can see in place and obviously this is much stronger because it is a copper pipe and when it's time to pack up, very easy, you're just sliding that like so. Once it moves away from this, it actually moves quite freely. You can grab the end there and twist it out or you can just slide this completely off and use it next time you go camping. You could also use the copper pipe method over here. Right, if you want to use the polycop and copper pipe method over here. So all I do is I'm going to put my polycop over the broken section. And now I'm going to take my copper pipe and just slide it over. It does get a bit snug. It does really depend how much tape you've put on there. And there we go. It's gone to the end there. And obviously the longer you make it, the firmer it will be. If you made it much longer, then it would have less free play. And then obviously you now just tape the ends. And there it is, it's very strong. It's definitely not gonna break here. It'll break probably there or there. And there I've showed you two methods of solving your broken poles on your tent. Thanks for watching and cheers.